So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee and traveled up to Judea to order the to order to the town of David called Bethlehem since he was David's house and line lineage Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no headphones. In oh, okay. In order to be registered together with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to the son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. In the countryside, close by, there were shepherds who lived in the fields and took it in turns to watch their flocks during the night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said, Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy, a joy to be shared by the whole people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And here is a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with the angel, there was a great throng of the heavenly host, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest of heaven, and peace to men who enjoy his favor. Now, when the angels had gone from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried away and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. When they saw who, when they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him, and everyone who heard it was a, who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. Sorry. 
singing this uh, I mean, way back when and I had the words there it said brown young virgin I always thought it was brown young virgin <laughs> and you were probably right 